Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to use my favorite data sufficiency hack to answer a really tricky question in under a minute. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step, and after you know how to do it, you're gonna be knocking down 700 level questions like they are nothing. Also, just because you showed up today, I've got a free gift for you. It's three strategies to raise your GMAT score 30 points today. It's the very same three strategies I teach all of my private students. They're super effective, it's gonna help you a lot, and it's free. You can get your free download just right there in the description. Okay, on to the example. Lisa bought beef and chicken tacos for her party that came in packages of six tacos each. If her guests ate one-fifth of the packages of beef tacos and five-twelfths of the packages of chicken tacos, how many packages of chicken tacos did Lisa buy? Okay, step one, we always go back to the question, figure out exactly what we've been asked to find, and write it down. In this case, we're being asked to find the exact value of C. Next step. We go back into the question and we write down any equations that we've been given. In this case, we're told that B plus C equals T. The number of beef tacos plus the number of chicken tacos equals the total number of tacos. We are also told that one-fifth B, one-fifth of the beef tacos, plus 12, 5 twelfths C, 5 twelfths of the chicken tacos, equals A, equals the number of tacos that were eaten. So that means we have been given two equations in the question, but we've been given four variables, B, C, T, and A, and here's the strategy. We need to have the same number of equations as we have variables in order to calculate an exact value for C. So we have four variables. We need a total of four equations. Now we've already been given two equations in the question stem, so we are looking for two more equations. Let's check each statement, see if we get two more equations. Stable one, Lisa bought five fewer packages of chicken tacos than beef tacos. Okay, what does that mean in math? That means C equals B minus five. Okay, we just said that we need two more equations in order to solve for C. We only got one more equation in statement number one. That means statement number one is insufficient. Let's take a look at statement number two. The guests ate the same number of beef tacos as chicken tacos. What does that mean in math? That must mean that one-fifth B equals five-twelfths C. Well, we said that we needed two more equations. Statement number two only gives us one more equation, so statement number two also insufficient. But if we combine both statements, now we get the two equations we need, so that is sufficient. The answer would be C. Two things that are important. First, do we want to actually calculate the value of C? Absolutely not. We don't care. You're being asked, do you have enough information to calculate the value of C? And yes, if we have four variables and four equations, we do have enough information. Second, what is this deal about six packages each and the tacos? Does it matter? It doesn't. Because as soon as you start counting variables and counting um, equations, we really don't care about constants like the numbers, like six. Okay, very nicely done. Okay, I know exactly what some of you are thinking. Wait a minute, just hold on a sec. Are you telling me that all I have to do is count equations and count variables, and that's going to work reliably on the test? Yes, that's exactly what I'm telling you. This strategy is going to work when you're asked for a specific value for a specific variable, and you're given equations in the statements, either straight out math equations or equations in word problem form, like we were given in this example. This works about 90% of the time. Yes, occasionally they're going to try and trick you, maybe 10% of the time, but don't get paranoid. They don't do it very often. But also, Keep watching because we're going to show you how to spot when they're trying to trick you. Okay, nice job. Okay, great job. Remember, just keep practicing to get better and better. And anytime the GMAT puts you in a data sufficiency situation and asks you for a specific value, this strategy is totally going to help you out. Also, remember about your free bonus gift, three strategies to raise your GMAT score 30 points today. It's yours for free. You can download it right in the description. Okay, see you next time.